Hi, Colin. Wednesday. Right here at the beginning, you are not getting punished. You just went to college. You have no time for this. You are already doing something that's way bigger and more important and frankly much cooler than just trying to do a vlog punishment. You're fine. And besides, my last video was pretty short too, so we'll call it a short week. But Colin, I really need to tell you one very important thing. I miss you, man. I mean, when you were here, we didn't have time to hang out because I was busy doing something, or you were busy doing something, and we never managed to really make enough time to hang out and do stuff as much as I would have liked, or probably as you would have liked. So that's part of the reason why I'm really glad that we're doing this, because this way I can still keep in contact with you, at least in some way. So what's new in my life? It's been a busy and slightly tumultuous start to my senior year, but things are starting to smooth out, mostly, kind of, sorta. There just seems to be a lot of things happening at the same time, and I'm not really able to keep all of it straight or intact, and also sleep and sustain myself. But I mean, on the bright side, I got business cards from work today, so, you know, that's pretty cool. So Colin, for the moment, I'm just trying to not be stressed and try to not let it all get to my head. And I'm sure you've got to be doing a lot of the same thing. I'm going to adapt into an entirely new existence in college. It's got to be a little bit weird. But Colin, taking things to a more serious note, I just want to talk briefly about a friend of mine who passed away recently. He was only 21, and he died due to complications of an enlarged heart. I and all of his other friends and family, and especially his mother and his sister and his brother are all, are all going to miss him terribly. And I personally don't really believe in prayer or religion or anything like that, but I just want to keep him in your thoughts and just remember that we all are going to die eventually. Hopefully not as young as he did, but it's still always there on the horizon. And we can't live our lives in fear of it. Instead, we have to live our lives in spite of it and continue to enjoy life and continue enjoying doing the things that we care about. Marcus was a great man and a great role model, and he was always there to help people and offer a smile. And so, in remembrance of him, in some way, shape, or form, I hope that you, in your day-to-day -day life, can also be there to help people and just be there to guide them and lend them a helping hand. And if you didn't know Marcus, do it for someone that you know that is passed on. Or better yet, just do it for the betterment of humanity as a whole. I feel like the only way I can end this now is with a cliche, so I just have to say, life is short, don't waste it. Colin, I'll see you on Saturday.